It seems as though the developers have addressed the issue that caused the major bottleneck that halted the Helium blockchain. They recently have issued a new validator release update, which should be implemented by the validators to restart the blockchain. There is no indication just yet that this has happened. It has now officially been over 24 hours since the blockchain has been halted. This certainly does not bode well for the Helium network, especially considering the broader crypto retreat and the impending HIP39 vote. Let's take a look at some of the details and the latest updates in today's video. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another video here on the Crypto Compound channel. Thank you all so much for being here. Please hit that like and subscribe on the way in. Guys, I wish there was some better news out there for you tonight. However, unfortunately, it seems as though the blockchain is still halted. There have been updates. There have been improvements made. However, there is no sign of life everywhere that I am checking. As you can see here, this is the screen that I keep refreshing to on my Helium app. It's telling me good evening, telling me I have zero hotspots and there's a $48 Oracle price. None of those things are correct. It is just blank and it is very frustrating. However, that being said, when we look here at the Hotspot Explorer's main screen, we can see that no one should be as mad as this man or this woman right here, Stable Tortilla Koala, who happens to be the latest Hotspot added to the blockchain right before the outage. Who knows how long this person waited for their Hotspot or how they got it, but they must have been excited to be getting it set up and then boom, the blockchain goes out for longer than it has ever been out for before, which is now over 24 hours. If we look here at all the different gauges of the network, we can see that nothing really appears to be working properly. We are still in the major outage here on the blockchain with a full 24 hours having passed, an hour and 10 minutes yesterday, and an hour and 36 minutes just now. So we are well over 26 hours now with a complete outage of the blockchain to being totally halted. As we can see, the API is under maintenance, consensus group, major outage, proof of coverage, major outage, router, partial outage, everything here, nothing is, it's still nothing appears to be working as it should. The price now is being battered down along with the broader crypto market at least, but the price is certainly being battered. There is one very important thing that I realized that is rather important in terms of the price here during this outage because if you are a miner which of course there are hundreds of thousands of miners across the world literally and you're mining HNT and it's going into your helium app your helium wallet you actually are during this outage you are not able to send that HNT to an exchange to sell it which is very interesting and it's not something that I realized originally when this outage of course i'm not considering selling my hnt at all but if somebody saw this outage was a minor and it's like let me just sell this stuff forget this they actually wouldn't be able to move the hnt out of their wallet and onto a blockchain which is very interesting so all of this activity must be happening on exchanges that was just something i didn't really think about at the time but realizing it now is very interesting to see how that plays out here in the price chart still helium in the 41 rank range performing as normal with regards to its peers which is fine and of course here the hip 39 redenomination voting is still suspended here while the blockchain is currently halted as you can see and the preliminary results are the same as they have been for about a day now of course as there has been there have been no votes that were able to be submitted still incredibly close it's almost hard to believe how close this is to the 60% threshold, but it is. So when this does open, guys, regardless of which way you're voting, make sure you vote. Make sure you vote. So if we go over here to the updates, you can see today at 7.21 p.m., this is the latest update. The, all these other updates throughout the day were just updates letting the consensus group know that the core developers were working on the performance and updates for the new release and that once it is released to implement that release basically. And as you can see here, the latest update validated release v1.5.5 is available validator operators should immediately update to this latest release to remove the bottleneck and continue normal block production now that sounds like the fix is in and the validator should start working and creating these blocks however as we just went through all of the different 
statuses here in all the different places we can look. It doesn't seem like anything is happening, especially, of course, considering this guy is still the latest hotspot to be added to the blockchain. So it doesn't look like anything is currently happening. We can even see here for the first time, I guess, in history, the hotspot chart, the hotspot trend line here is actually flattening out now for the past two days because there have not been any hotspots added, which is going to be reflected in the charts for hit in history, especially considering the the rate that we've been as which at which we've been increasing. It's going to be very interesting to look back and see a little flat spot on the chart. No earnings for a full day going to be very interesting. I hope that this gets up and running sooner than later. I really did think it would be finished by today. Well, guys, that is all we have for today's video. Unfortunately, we are still halted right here on block 1,099,848. Hopefully, when we wake up in the morning, everything is back to normal. Fingers are crossed. Let me know what you guys have experienced. Also today with the minted drop, I hope you guys were able to get some of your miners However, in other unrelated news, however, in other news, we have, however, in other news, of course, the minted rack wireless miners did drop this morning for the US. I did, I was on the website trying to actually buy one just to see what the experience was like. And I was going to buy one if it would let me. I tried to buy both, did not work. I just kept clicking that refresh checkout button every 10 seconds, was stuck there for about a half an hour, and then I left. I did see in the comments that some people did get theirs. Uh, a few people bought two. I'm happy to see that. I'm happy you guys got yours, uh, but not a great experience for me. However, I don't know what we can really expect when there's a few hundred thousand people probably trying to buy these things, and they only have about 11,000 of them for sale. So... I hope that some of you were able to get them. Of course, I'll keep you updated on when the next drops are um, and if there are any little tricks that we can use to try and get these things. But guys, that is all I have for today. Hopefully we wake up in the morning and everything is back to normal. The blockchain is back up and running, fingers crossed. But that is all I have for today's video. Thank you guys all so much for watching. Please make sure to like and subscribe if you have not already. But just like that, this video is over and I will see you next time.